Ivana Trump, ex-wife of Donald Trump, with whom she shared children, passed away unexpectedly on July 14th, 2022, in her New York City home. She lived in this Manhattan townhouse for many years as her primary residence, and it boasted seven floors, along with opulent interior design choices throughout, completely suited to Ivana. She also owned a Palm Beach mansion getaway over in Florida, which was said to have popped back onto the market recently. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. And once you watch, let me know what you think of our house. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ivana Trump was a Czech American socialite and businesswoman who was well known for being the first wife of former US President Donald Trump. Once the two married, they were a publicity power couple in the 1980s, and Ivana held key managerial positions in the Trump organization, including working on the Trump Interior Design, CEO of the Trump Castle Casino Resort, and manager of the Plaza Hotel. Ivana was also the mother of Donald Trump's oldest children, sharing three together, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. Following Ivana's divorce from Donald, she developed her own lines of clothing, jewelry, and beauty products. Unfortunately, on July 14th, 2022, at the age of 73, it was reported that Ivana had died in her New York City home. The former president posted on his social media about his ex-wife. She was a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And in this one, we're gonna take a look at the late Ivana Trump's homes, including her longtime space in the Big Apple. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In recent years, Ivana Trump's former vacation getaway in Florida changed hands again for a whopping $73 million. Records show she bought the estate located in Palm Beach for a mere $4.4 million in 1994, two years after her divorce from Donald. The most recent owners who sold the home for that whopping price tag were fashion designer Thomas Meyer and his husband, businessman Andrew Preston, who had bought it back in 2014 from Ivana for $16.6 .6 million. The architectural godfather of Palm Beach, Addison Misner, built the mansion back in 1921 for himself in a Moorish style design, naming it Contra Marina. In 1922, New York broker George Sloan and his wife, a Detroit auto heiress, bought it from him. Since then, the mansion, which spans over 12,300 square feet of space, has undergone several expansions and renovations by notable architects, including Maurice Fadio. The exterior walls were protected from significant changes in the process. So the home was given landmark status in 1998 while Ivana lived here. Inside the estate, there were nine beds, nine baths, and one half bath. The luxurious living spaces have a vintage and Victorian design with soaring beamed wood ceilings as seen in the great room, as well as opulent chandeliers and fancy fireplaces. The massive dining room boasted a long and elegant table with sparkling chandelier overhead, while one wall had windows overlooking the ocean views. Another alfresco and open air dining area overlooks and opens up to the swimming pool, and the table here can hold over 25 guests with its length. Other sunny spaces include a bright aqua toned breakfast room with French doors to the yard, attached to the upscale kitchen and bedrooms, including the large master suite with more water views. The pool area is decorated with lush greenery, even on some of the walls, to give off the feeling of a complete oasis. The in ground pool has intricate tiles details surrounding it and nearby loungers to sunbathe. Ivana's former property was situated on a 0.76 acre lot with oceanfront land across the street. South Ocean Boulevard was the only thing separating this home from the ocean. Of course, going even further back in time, before Ivana even separated with Donald, two lorded over some spectacular properties as you might expect. One of these was their one-time mansion in Greenwich, Connecticut. A few years ago, this property popped back on the 
market for $45 million, while the Trumps had purchased it for $4 million back in the early 1980s. Ivana shared this six acre property with her then husband, which was located on a peninsula looking over Indian Harbor. After Ivana and Donald divorced, Ivana sold it a few years later in 1998 to a wealthy couple for $15 million, clearly making a pretty penny on the sale. The traditional colonial looking mansion had never ending rolling green lawns surrounding it, and the home was built in 1939. Spanning almost 20,000 square feet of space, it was more like a palace, and there were also eight bedrooms and 10 full bathrooms, many of which had stunning stained glass windows and marble detailing. Back in 1987, Donald took an iconic photo in the mansion's grand entryway, which has twin curved staircases and ballroom height ceilings, along with a huge diamond colored chandelier. The couple who purchased it from Ivana made some major changes to the interior while living here. The listing agent at the time said, when Donald and Ivana had it, they had it decorated very lavishly. And she claimed the following owners, quote, did away with that, making it much more livable and relaxed and quite elegant, but not as lavish as when Ivana had it. While a lot of the opulent gold leaf decor was removed, some of the grand spaces in the mansion that were likely modernized included the formal dining room and the wood paneled ballroom, both of which offered large fireplaces. Elsewhere, there's a double height family room with walls of windows and a cozy feel, and on the lower level, a home theater. A guest house featuring an indoor swimming pool was also added, which looks like it's straight out of a five-star spa, while the sprawling property includes a huge outdoor swimming pool too. Other highlights include a dock right on Indian Harbor, a putting green, and a tennis court that was also added after Ivana had moved out. Sadly, Ivana recently just passed away unexpectedly at her longtime property in New York City. Despite selling those former homes, this mansion-sized townhouse in the heart of the city was where Ivana's heart truly remained, living here for many years. Her opulent seven-story estate in Manhattan was full of glitz and glamour, just as you'd expect from Ivana. Back in 2009, Ivana had given a tour of the place to People magazine and showed off her interior design style. She posed in one of the sitting rooms with her dog, Tiger, where she explained, In each of my homes, I have a leopard room. I don't know why, but I do. It's like my lounge next to the dressing rooms. The cheetah painting and the photo she acquired while on a safari in Africa. Her townhouse was located in the exclusive Upper East Side neighborhood of New York City, and she purchased the home back in 1994. Her dining room featured glittery chandeliers and high ceilings, and it was the space that she liked to entertain guests. Here, there was also a fireplace, and Ivana explained she actually had one in every room of this home. The sitting room, or the leopard room as she called it, also offered a black and gold ornate fireplace and an empire desk where she would do some of her business calls. Meanwhile, her office was actually two levels down in the home. Most of the townhouse, originally built in 1924, it was gutted when Ivana moved in, but she kept the original curved staircase, which was stunning. She said about this aspect, we had to redo the railing and the mural was done by artists that flew in from Italy. It's painted on so it looks like it's a balcony, looking into French Roman gardens. Over in her master suite, it was also designed in over-the-top fashion, which was visible in her former properties as well. She has a four-poster draped bed and another fireplace, this one gold embossed. When the Czech-born socialite first moved in, the Chinese-style murals here on the wall were damaged, but she had them painstakingly restored by artists recommended by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Other highlights in Ivana's Manhattan home included the gym, which used to be three bedrooms on the townhouse's top floor, accessible by elevator. Despite Ivana Trump's untimely death, we know this successful woman will be missed and celebrated by her loved ones, including her children. Since that concludes this house tour, what did you think of Ivana's former homes, including her one-time Palm Beach historic mansion, long-time New York home, and more? I think all of them were definitely fit for a queen, but my personal fave was the one in Palm Beach. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all another time. Bye.